Yeah, so this is uh, Shaka Suleiman here with Divine Unity One, man. I'm here with my man Cliff Mack. Cliff Mack, Cliff McBean, otherwise known as Cliff Mack, the architect. The so, architect. Right out of Houston, Texas. For those of you who don't know, man, it's a film director, movie director. I am a member of the media. I've been a television producer for the past nine years. Video director the whole nine, man. The longer I was involved and the more stuff that I had done, I started seeing how the work I was doing was influencing people. My first major media job, I worked, I was a writer for Cedars World on BET. At that point, I did realize that what I was putting out was having an effect on people. Because I would use conversations that me and my buddies had about the state of the black condition in America or the state of music and entertainment or the state of politics or whatever, whatever was going on at that time, I would use conversations that me and my partners had and bring them back and write the scripts in a witty, funny way that would kind of tell our point of view to the world. BT will throw on some good programming sometimes, but hell, you only see it once or twice. The town hall meetings you'll see once or twice, or, or uh, you know, a few shows about AIDS in the black community you'll see once or twice, but you'll see the same videos with the same messages 30, 40 times a day. A lot of the music videos, a lot of the music content, a lot of what labels are asking for these artists to put out, I think a lot of that is trash. I think these artists are a lot smarter than that, and I think that there's a lot of things that they can do to take a, a more of a stand when you know in their community and for their community. It's a lot of people who are in that situation that have more conscious thought, they want to put out conscious records, but they're not getting the marketing and promotion that the gangsters or the drug rappers or the trap rappers or the, you know, everybody's a boss, everybody sell, sells all this cocaine. There's so many people that adapt that costume for commercial success and at the end of the day they don't understand that they're killing us because, you know, you turn on TV and little kids is, is running around, you know, quoting dudes trap rap. I mean, it just comes into balance, man, and if we can get some balance in our community, people will make their decisions and, and I think if you give people an opportunity, if you show them right, you know, I think more times than not, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll gravitate towards what's right. I could, you know, I could do any video that's offered or, or any video that I've, I've had conversations about, but I don't want to have to compromise who I am for a couple dollars. It's just not worth it, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to look back at that. You know what I'm saying? You got to look back at your work. You got to look back at what your name is on and what you've been associated with and what you brought, in, brought into existence. For those of you who don't know, man, it's the brother that taught me everything I needed to know on that camera right there, you know, as far as the editing and everything, he took me under his wing, man, as far as the camera work, he taught me everything, man, so, just about uh, making change, man, so, uh, what, what, what are your uh, final words of wisdom, man, to all the young producers out there who, who uh, you know, possess the talent that can be able to uh, evoke a change, you know, as far as the television? I think if I could give one piece of advice, like right now, is if you, if you have, a, if you believe in what you're doing, if you have a thought and a dream, you're in a position now where you can actually bring your dream into fruition. I think it's too late for the generation that's, that's, that's running things now to make a change. But I do think that there's a bunch of young programmers coming up, there's a bunch of young blacks that are really making their way into entertainment. And I think over the next 10 years, you'll see options for programming. Definitely young people, if you can, if, if you got a camera, if you got access to a camera, got access to, to work with someone who has the equipment that you need. Get with them, intern with them, work with them, put in your hours, learn your craft, and you're in a situation where you can put out your work. And you never know, you you know, you may you may have the spark, you know, that that set the world on fire, you know what I'm saying? That may set, you know, knowledge back into the forefront. You know, if, if that's what you're interested in doing, you can get out there and do it, because now is the best time. Peace. That's the word on the street. I'm in. Bringing you the word on the street.